Crawford, we did want to get your views on China, uh, the competition, how close potentially it's getting to be able to make you know, significant difference in closing the gap in R&D, but also uh, your assessment of you know, how effective and I suppose how the longevity of the, the chip hoarding that Beijing has done as well. Yeah. So when you when you look at China, um, you know how effective the chip hoarding that, that that's going to be a near term um, opportunity. What's what's got to happen long term is China has to develop an ecosystem. China has to develop an independent ecosystem for AI development, and that's going to be driven by their AI, by 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 semiconductor companies. You know, primarily uh, companies like Huawei as and, and High Silicon, as well as. Uh, their startup infrastructure, which is going to allow a lot of custom silicon to be developed by a lot of the hyperscaler uh, cloud uh, providers that are out there. I think what you're going to see in China is you're going to see more of a lumpy road. You're going to see um, situations where you know they, they've got to be able to develop leading edge technology for their own uses internally. And I would say that we'll probably see um, you know some of the hoarding that happened uh, run out, and then you'll see cycles uh, develop. Uh, in China where we're sort of transitioning to uh, their, their own uh, uh, inside of China uh, developed architectures, which again may mean for a lumpy environment going forward. Uh, Crawford, how much more difficult do you expect the environment to get? Of course, we're going into November. There's geopolitical uh, posturing at play here as well. Or, or do you think the bifurcation, the competition and the strategic competition in this is already pretty well set? Um, I think I, I, I think you're going to see that the competition is fairly well set. I think you're going to see um, from a f from a China standpoint, it's really going to turn into how quickly they can internally uh, w w within w w within China um, innovate. And I wouldn't I, I wouldn't underestimate. I, I just think you're going you're going to see you know a bit of a choppy environment. But I don't think you're going to see things get a lot worse in terms of you know where we are today and how China's able um, to either uh, access the technology they're able to access today or act, or, or be able to develop um, their own technology going forward. But as I indicated. That's going to take some time, um, and I think that's going to um, contribute to some of the to, to, to some of the lumpiness that I'm describing.